My first realization of when I owned this disease is when I went on the AIDS walk for the first time last year. It was the most freeing experience to know that I've been through all this and I'm still alive to tell my story and say, hey, I'm here, I'm HIV positive, my name is Marie Yerkman and I'm not going anywhere. That's when I knew. I could not have done it at all without all the support. There would have been no way without all that concern and just, you know, I'm behind you, you can do this. You know, I know it's rough with the side effects of the medication and everything, but you can do this. You gotta do this if you wanna live. And because of that, I'm still here. Erie Family Health Center is a community resource, a community health center that has served the west and northwest sides of Chicago for over 50 years. Our HIV AIDS program, which we call Lending Hands for Life, is a true roll up your sleeves, community-based program where people affected by HIV AIDS can receive all their primary care and treatment services right here in the communities in which they reside. The fight against AIDS is really a fight community by community. And what the AIDS Foundation of Chicago needs are people in communities that know the community, that have relationships with people in the community to fight AIDS and HIV. We really love uh, Erie Family Health Center. Uh, they are everything that we want the AIDS sector in Chicago to be. Uh, a well-run organization, fantastic people, unbeatable programs, uh, and a real sense of, uh, of community and partnership. A lot of HIV patients have to go here for medical care, there for case management, there for, um, for behavioral health, somewhere else for dental, somewhere else for eyes. Here, they can do it all. We're a family. We're a family, and I think that because of the supportive atmosphere that, that we try to provide, I think it makes it a little bit easier. I first started coming to Erie about uh, five years ago. I was diagnosed October of 94. It was after then that I found out when I was HIV positive that their father had it and he just wasn't truthful with me. It's very hurtful to even know that my, you know, that my father gave it to her and didn't even tell her. People should know that it just doesn't affect one person, but it affects everybody that, that they know, friends, family, community. I didn't think I was gonna make it this long when I first found out, but now I know you can live a long, healthy life with HIV. You can, you just have to manage it, control it. Don't let it control you. You have to be able to want more than what you have. Like my mother, she wanted more with her life, so she fought for that. She wanted to live longer, so she fought for that. I could not have done it at all without all the support. Every time you walk in these doors, each and every one of these people love their job, and you can just tell they are reaching their hand out, and all you gotta do is take it. They wanna help. I look forward to the day when my kids have my grandkids, you know? I, Look forward to seeing them setting up their careers and setting up their lives when three years ago I didn't have that hope. I do now. <laughs>